We like a decent sort of day for the outside, maybe a trip to the park. Very, very pleasant, in fact. Uh, decent sunny spells for the most part across uh, much of the uh, British Isles. That is the case for the afternoon. Very, very pleasant. Ridge of high pressure is the reason why, but it will change. All of this cloud off to the west. This particular strip here, that is a weather system that will work its way in tonight, bringing in some wet weather. And then behind it, there's more in the way of clouds. So things will change. It's a bit more unsettled as we go away through the uh, course of the week. But in the meantime, for the afternoon, it isn't looking too bad. A lot of this cloud it's just the higher salt that is working in, so it's fairly pleasant for the afternoon from the south coast towards, uh, say, London. 13 here, about 10 or 11 is where we should be for the time of year. To East Anglia, parts of uh, the Midlands, just seeing some patchy cloud, but otherwise fine, dry for the most part. And Northern England, parts of Scotland seeing just a little bit more cloud, maybe some of it enough just to squeeze out the odd shower, but for the most part it is fine, it is dry. 10 for Aberdeen, or we'll do about the same for Glasgow as we go into the afternoon, and then further south to Northern Ireland, but just a, a bit more cloud just creeping in here as you work away into the afternoon. Look at Wales, fine for the most part, about 11 or so, and as well to the southwest of England. And of course, it was looking good in uh, Cheltenham, and that is the case for the next couple of days. It should be uh, fine for the festival. 12 today, 13 tomorrow. There could be some wet weather as we go through the course of the week. I'll show you that. Of course, all the coverage on the uh, BBC. We work our way through the night. Remember that lump of cloud to the west? It works its way in. The area blue is the wet weather, and watch what happens. Really, just across Northern Ireland, Scotland, the main energy works through it pretty quickly. So you just sort of flick a switch, and the blue thins out. But it's drizzled to some of the western coasts. To the southeast, you're dry. Not as chilly tonight with that cloud. Three, six, two, seven as we start Wednesday. It's a greyer start. You won't be out there with the old sunglasses. If anything, cloud is in place. We're pushing the first weather system away, and then slowly brightening the skies, particularly the further east you are. On to western coast, we keep some cloud, maybe a few spots of drizzle. But temperatures with that southwest wind will do fairly well. 11, 12, maybe a 15. A 15 towards the southeast as we uh, finish off uh, Wednesday. Then things start to really change. All that lump of uh, all the wet weather in the mid part of the Atlantic works in. For the rest of the week, it will unfortunately turn wet and windy. But some wet weather for summers. We haven't seen it for a while. We push the ridge of high pressure away, and that first thing. And the look at that thing winding up. Quite a band of rain, quite a lump of wind, too. You can see the risk for gales, in fact, just sweeping their way into western coast. And this mass of blue here, that's Thursday. Mark it as the day that's a bit of a washout. A wet, a windy day as it works through. This thing will clear away, but still a mild sort of day. 10, 